Hi Leo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your October 2020 tarot reading. Oh my goodness, so much has happened. And um, it's I just feel a huge change. For one thing, I've got a bunch of things I want to say. And you can fast forward if you want to, but they're important. So... One thing I want to say is this full moon is like super duper powerful, okay? I've had a huge life-changing event and um, I'm not sure for all of you, but if you want to, you can put moon water out. So you put it outside and you put it in a container that is not plastic. It can't be plastic glass. You could use like steel, like a tin, um, uh, anything like that. So anyway, you put it outside and you leave it open, no lid on it. And it receives the moon's energy. And then you, that becomes moon water. And then you can drink that yourself or you can gift it. Uh, to help someone else um, that might need it. So anyway, that's the, I don't know why, but I needed to share that with you. Second thing is, is this ad-free video is brought to you by the sign Libra. Libra, Libra, um, it's their month, their birthday month, and it's their month to send in the $25 contribution for a year of videos. Libra is only paying for their videos, but they, they get to watch all of them. So I want to thank you in advance, Libra. And I just want you all to know who was, um, you know, um, why we're having that free video. So it's because of Libra. So thanks, Libra. Anyhow, what else, what else, what else? Oh, speaking about contributions... I just want to put a real quick shout out to these people who have sent in their contributions already. First, I want to mention Kathy Ann. Thank you so much, Kathy Ann. And um, Kathy Ann is a Libra, and so I want to thank her very much. I want to thank Irene C. And... Um, uh, Irene didn't say what sign she was, but that's okay. She can always write me and let me know. I want to thank a Sagittarius in Johannesburg, Africa. She didn't tell me her name, but she told me that she was Sagittarius. So I'm going to put her on a, my tick under my Sagittarius. I'd really like to know what sign you are. You don't need to pay until your birthday month, but some people are paying now. And the last person I want to thank is Cheryl W. in Austin, Texas. Thank you, Cheryl. I so appreciate. Um, and it lets me know that you appreciate me and what I do. So, my darling Leo, let's get your vibes in there. I'm using these new cards. They're called the Transparent Tarot. And they're by... Emily Cardi. Here's the book that comes with it. Okay. I have the book here because some of the pictures are so different on these cards. I have to look them up. I, I'm not sure which one it is. And I don't know all my numbers perfectly. So, but um, anyhow, uh, I first saw these cards when um, there's a lady called Charlie's Angel Tarot. And she's been following me since the get-go. And so I have also check in on her and see, you know, because I look up my own videos, you know. And so I was looking up her and I was watching the video and she had these cards and I was completely mesmerized by them immediately. Not only were the cards amazing, but so was her reading for me. It was so dead on with what was going on with me at the time. So if you have time, go and check out Charlie's Angel Tarot. She's really, um, she's such a good lady. She's a really good lady. She's based out of Holland. 
Um, so, anyhow, let's get on with you, Leo. Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> Leo. Leo. Uh, I'm wondering if there's some of you that are cuspers on cancer. There's a cancer cusp uh, that are watching. Um, like you're right, one of the first Leos in your birthday. Um, Leo. Leo. I'm kind of seeing a dispute or something. Some sort of dispute. A sword drawn. Um, okay, let's see what we got for you, Leo. What are the messages for Leo for October? Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I got to tell you, there's two here, and now I'm going to cut them. Hmm. That is funny. Bandit, what are you looking at? <laughs> you sitting there just staring up at me. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So I'm living at the farmhouse now, right? And Bandit is... You know, the funny animals, funny names, like the horse named Ransom, the dog's name's Bandit. <laughs> You'd think if I lived in a house of bank robbers or something. You want up here, babe? He wants up. Oh, one, two, three. This is Bandit. Isn't he sweet? Oh, my God. He growls when you give him love. <laughs> All right, go sit down. I'm busy here. Go sit down. So let's get that this for you. So first we see this six of swords. Okay. See that? Six of swords. So you're moving on. This is moving um, to calmer waters. Uh, you have been dealing with all this. All these swords. All this um, could be disputes arguments um just negative communication and you're done with it and you're moving on you just you know you just want uh, something more simple you know it's a simpler existence as far as communication you do not want to get all caught up in this uh ball of confusion is probably a good it just keeps spinning you know like um when you add keep adding to it it's not going to go out kind of thing so this is you know you're you're well aware of of um what's going on you're like no i'm not i'm not doing it anymore so you want to move on this your underlying energy by the way and then you have what in the world 13 um I'm wondering if this is death. You know, I think it is. I think it's death. There it is right there. Death. Yeah, death. So here we have a death. And death, as you know, is cutting away, um, <laughs> you know, ending something. There's something that um, is coming to an end. Okay, and and that means like it says it all right here, really in this. You know that's why you um you don't want this friction. You don't. It's some sort of um something that's holding you back. Really, it's holding you back. So um in order to move on, you need to end this cut it away so whether it's a relationship a job uh, a behavior um um you know you know what it is in your life that's giving you this uh this um it's it's you know <laughs> Which I can think of my words, it's really making me mad. It's giving you agony, you know, it's agony, really. But once you put an end to it, um, 
then you're free, you know. It it may be something that's been a long road for you, right? Um, it may have been a long road, but now there's something about it I think that you see clearer, you know? It's not as... It, it eluded you before, perhaps. It's not that you couldn't see it or you were blind. It just eluded you, you know? And and so I think that it's more obvious to you now, and it's so it's easier for you to stop it when you can really identify it, okay? So, in the past, you have the Page of Wands, the High Priestess, and the three of wands is not the three of wands where's the number yeah the three of wands so page of wands this is in the past this could have happened already a while ago or just recently or happening right now um page of wands is usually a messenger could be a young person even yourself if you're younger um, and by young, it doesn't have to be child. It can be teenage and, or in your 20s. But most times this is a message coming in about, um, it could be a new work, new position, um, something, a change within the, um, organization. But it's, it's enabling you to, um... It doesn't even have to be necessarily about work. Something about you feel passionate about. Also, pages, like wands, I should say. Um, because it's a page, it might mean that you're new to this. Meaning, you're just learning this for the first time. Like I said, something may have eluded you before. And now you're you're aware of it, you understand it, or you see it kind of thing. And and then you have the high priestess. So look at that. Like I said, it, it may have eluded you before. This full moon, or building up to this full moon, is, I think, where you realize you have the knowledge. The high priestess is all about having the, a higher knowledge, you know, like... Um, her instincts, she trusts her instincts and knows the right timing, the right timing, right? But it's also being new, you know, kind of new at this instinct business, perhaps, and how to, you know, because I think you're expanding your, like the magician the magician is very talented. He knows he's got all the gifts, you know. He he's smart and he's he knows how to handle money and security and all this stuff. But the one thing he's missing is instinct, right? And that's where the high priestess comes in. And she works a lot with the changing of the planets and the full moons and all that because she uses that energy to her advantage or his advantage you know and this is when you're trying to use energy um to your advantage but you're new at this right so you're just learning it you're the page you're not the king at the of this yet all right so oh interesting leo and then you have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is um, action. I'm going to tell you it's taking steps. It's You can see these three people are united together for the same cause. They're three different wands joined together to form one flame. They're in agreement. It's teamwork. It's working together. And I'm going to tell you, in another tarot, uh, the mythic tarot, um, it's here that the idea is ignited. You know, it's ignited and it takes momentum. It starts to take, um, um, it's taking on momentum, 
It's taking on momentum. All right. I want to see what this looks like. Wow. Isn't this transparent tarot amazing? Look at what the picture is together now with all three of them. Right now, actually, I see the page running over the pages, <laughs> coincidentally. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, you know, learning. And this is really taking what you've learned. And I think you've learned, you've been learning on a, uh, a few different levels or spheres, I want to say. Different spheres. You know, one might be facts. You really know your facts. And then the other one might be more spiritual. You know, a more spiritual teachings or something. And so you might welcome someone like that uh, into your life. And then there's an even third way. And so these three things, you know, kind of like the Holy Trinity, are going to join together to uh, give momentum to an idea. Uh, um, I don't know. This is big, Leo. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> this is big. you're going to join forces there's is and um you're going to um it's it's all for the same cause too okay but it's about the timing you know you don't know everything yet either don't forget you're the page right now you don't know everything yet you're just figuring this out all right so don't get faster than your shoes don't get bigger than your britches kind of thing all right so present you have the three of pentacles that's your second three um wait a minute is it yeah um The Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. So here is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is kind of about making your mark. You know, you're getting ready to make your mark. The, it's a three again. You know, it's giving momentum to an idea something that you've been thinking about considering involving your security and stability and your health you know your your you know your green spirit kind of thing okay now you know he, he this person he's wanting to make his mark he's wanting to establish something of his own and this is where you are in the present moment, all right? Then you have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is um, <laughs> traditionally, the Eight of Cups is about leaving the situation because there's something missing. There's cups missing, it's just not the right thing. But here we see, like, this is very clever, all right? This person is thinking outside the box, I'm going to tell you. They've taken these empty cups, and instead of, um, you know, it's reaching for what you want. It's climbing, stepping up those cups and reaching for what you want. Um asking for it for one thing it's asking for it defining it you know and it's also getting it yourself you know that happiness that um fulfillment that emotional fulfillment sure we all want a partner and to be happy and in love and to be sharing our lives but it doesn't um it's not the only only way out there you know it's 
it's for you you know i think you really have a good idea about what you want now you know i think you might be ready to take those steps in love to commitment you know turning these cups instead of saying oh geez you know i don't have this and i don't have that you're saying you know what i i you know this is this is this is building where it's coming together uh we can it has the potential to reach this it has the potential to reach this it's quite a different card in this deck it's all full of potential emotional communication you know someone can't give you what they want if they don't know what it is you know if you're saying well he should know we can't we're not mind readers you know neither are you leo you need to know you need to hear what that is so that you can be a good partner too i really like this card it's about finding solutions you know it's really really good hmm. and then you have the 10 and the 10 is celebration it is completion so there's a couple of things that could be going on here you've completed this relationship you found everything you need to, um everything you wanted and it's a happily ever after card you know it, um to to go on to the next phase of relationship right um you know because relationships go in cycles as well so this is saying this is going through your relationship is going through a cycle whether it's your relationship with your friend your roommate your parents your lover whoever it is for you you will know um this is going it's it's completing one cycle and about to begin another okay i want to show you these cards together so here's where it begins in the three of pentacles and you want to take this idea these things that you've been thinking about to um secure yourself a little better okay then you have the um eight of cups and so you're wisely taking these cups they're not scattered all over laying on the ground you're using them to your advantage you're very smart very smart leo and then you have the ten of cups look at what you're getting for all your efforts this is going to really make you happy uh it's going to complete you in a way like in some sort of emotional way and this could be just within yourself what you need your your own like i said this person is going to reach it with someone or on their own they're after emotional fulfillment but it's got to do with your security okay it's got to do with your security so um oh, i just love these cards i can't say enough about them <laughs> So, Bandit, what are you doing now? Moving around in your future. You have the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Is that the Queen? It sure is. And, oh... This is um, the Hierophant. Uh, uh, I just felt marriage right there and then. Okay. I just felt marriage. Um, and it may not be yours. It might be yours, but it might not be yours. Okay. So, um, King of Pentacles. Um, this could be male or female could be an earth sign around you a capricorn um virgo or taurus and this person is um very about like see how stable 
you know, grounded. This person is very grounded here. Rooted almost. Looks like a tree trunk. Really. Very rooted person. And, um, and they're... I think they're generous. They've learned a lot of lessons about, and and really, oh, honey, are you okay? Oh my goodness, are you all right, honey? <laughs> Jeepers. Um, oh, I never noticed this before. Look at the spiral tattoo or mark on him really wants to expand this person they want to they being grounded and secure and stable is very important to them but the king this person had once they get established and feel that safety now they want to be creative they want to build something they want to they want to um they need to be stimulated and, and it could be growing, could be gardening. I don't know. It's some sort of growth. But this part, when you get to the king, you're ready to um, for a new project to invest yourself in, your time and your energy, okay? You're ready to invest your time and your energy. This person is, I, I think, a, a person that wants to invest, is ready to invest themselves as well as their money, okay? Then we have the Queen of Swords. And this could be a male or female. Now, this, this person doesn't have to be a different person. This could be your um, energy, Leo, where you just really want to be grounded. You want to be secure. You want to be um, stable. You know, it's important to you right now, stability. Um, well, or it's going to be in your very near future. So, um, then the queen of swords is male or female. It doesn't have to be Aquarius, Libra, or, um, Gemini person. And, um, very much about communication and the facts. Um, this person has no problem cutting some someone out if and this could be your energy too leo you could be just like if if i hear any baloney <clears throat> cut out speaks their mind is saying it like it is there is no flowering this communication this person is smart they use their head um You know, this person isn't going to change their mind. They're very, she's rock solid on how she thinks and she, and, or who, they, and they're not going to change their mind. They, 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 they're very, um, <laughs> deep in their thoughts. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not just something off the fly. They, they think deeply about things and they, and they, speak of what they know you know they research stuff they don't just start talking about something they don't know about so anyway you know these people are facing each other right let's put them together or are they they're both got the same idea they both want to build this really solid um foundation you know the foundation needs to be real solid, real thick to support the rest of this. One person, um, there's probably good communication. Uh, there's probably um, security. Um, it could be a lot of the things you want. Um, there... Uh, you know, communication is a big, big part of relationships. Sure, love and affection and all that is too. But 
communication is very, very important. I also say, I got to tell you, between the two of this, two of these, I, I like that there's the male, female, the yin, yang kind of thing. And uh, to me, I see this big, um, almost a mountain. In one way, it looks like a mountain with the smoke coming out. And um, it, it makes me think that it, there's room to like um, um, fit like it's like a filter or something there's a there's a filter or something there there's letting off steam let you're able to let off steam or something like this um, I like that um, You know, together there's blue and green. Eh? It just looks really healthy in a lot of ways. You might agree to disagree sometimes with this person because you may have very different opinions about how something should be done. You know, you might have very different opinions, but yet I think you're out for the same goal, the same thing. And I also think you're going to create together you're going to expand together speaking of which <laughs> then you have the hierophant look at that it starts out this real solid bottom and then as it grows it it expands in all these different areas and talk about swirls like look at all the swirls there's swirls everywhere you know um they're not called swirls uh spirals spirals all kinds of imagination stimulation growth and expansion you know it's it's um like i saw up here there's there's of different minds you know what i mean um together for the same cause and then we have look at oh, it is so cool you know to look at you guys are building together the solid solid uh, you also could be working in an institution the Hierophant sometimes is about the institution but I gotta tell you I think it's about the institution of marriage or relationship you know marriage is almost an outdated thing um the the paper and everything i think ceremony is beautiful symbolism is beautiful the paper and the contract and i owe you and you owe me and all that they should take all that out of it but the how these two are going to grow and expand is really amazing i think what you guys are going to create together now if this isn't because i think it is in love i think it's love but i also think it's really practical like practical you don't get caught all up in the tra la la's tra la la land you know it is practical it's practical and smart healthy you know communication it's it's um it's good. It's good. It's very green. I like it. <laughs> and it's higher. It's ever evolving, you know, ever evolving into more and more. Like if you think about a tree, it keeps branching out, you know, branching out. And that's what we want to do as human beings. We want to open our mind, our senses, our everything. <laughs> our hearts you know and and this is exactly the journey you're on Leo it's so nice because you're coming out of this remember that where we started you know at your or your or is a Sith or sickle or whatever the darn things called I always get it wrong seems like the wrong word for that tool 
You know, I, I, it doesn't feel like the right word sickle. It doesn't look nothing like that. Anyway, but that's why I always get it wrong. It doesn't feel right, that word. But anyway, this is your ore cutting through the bullshit, cutting through the, um, a, a, any of the stuff that is holding you down, holding you back. This is where that you are or were or want to get out of and look at where you're going you're going to this this is what you got your eye on the prize you got your eye on this is how you're getting there you know this is really i love that out of this pentacle is coming all these cups <gasps> it's just gorgeous and then wow this is, whoops, absolutely gorgeous here, too. So much growth. You know, this is really good. I, like I said, you may not always see eye to eye, but you talk about it. You know, you put time and energy into it. Sounds good to me. Wow. Really, all that was really powerful reading um if you like this video hit that like button share and subscribe if you are a libra and you're cross watching it's your month to send in your 25 dollar contribution for the year and i so appreciate it it really helps me a lot um there was two quotes i'm going to put them in the description box but i also wanted to just share them with everybody because it's just food for thought okay you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with so um you know that's something to consider if you think about those five people and who they are to you or in your life or in your you know environment so that's something to consider. You want to make sure that it's positive. This is what you're looking for, you know. This is what you're looking for. You want nice, beautiful, happy. And then I want you to think about this. If we could read the secret history of our enemies, we should find in each person's life sorrow and suffering enough to disarm all hostility so we need to remember and i'm not saying you're not but can and consider that each person even our enemies are suffering and have suffered and felt sorrow um deep sorrow so um try assertion instead of aggression thank you very much have a great month leo talk to you soon